Hello everyone, it's Miros. Here is my coffee. And here is my Pixel 8 Pro. And what's the problem with it? I can't use here voiceover LTE and voiceover Wi-Fi with it because I'm not living in one of the supported countries from Google. They don't support 5G, they don't support Vo LTE and they don't support Vo Wi-Fi. And this is a big issue for me because in my full-time job I make tons of calls and I can't check uh, something on internet until I'm making a call and today we will fix that issue. So just follow me. So you can see now I'm using the LT network. I will just call myself on my other device just to show you that here voice over LT and you can see now I'm using the LT connection. Let's check if uh, everything is enabled here and you can see I am 5G recommended but I miss 5G here in my region. So let's just call myself and show you that uh, i miss the voiceover lt and voiceover wi-fi you can see i'm missing here the hd icon let's just hang up you can see the connection was dropped to h which is 3g and this means poor internet until you are in a call first we will need to open the play store and download the famous application Shizuku. So about this application, let's just uh, check it quickly. Shizuku is an open source app for serving multiple apps that require root or ADB permissions. And that means with that application we can give some uh, root or ADB permissions to some applications without rooting our device. So let's just install it and continue the process. Alright. Let's open it and what is written here Shizuku is not running and we need to make it run start via wireless debugging and we need to follow the steps here let's stop step by step guide here are the options start via wireless debugging starting with wireless debugging works on Android 11 or above this startup uh, method does not require a connection to a computer. Due to system limitation, the startup step need to be performed again after each reboot. So if you reboot your device, you need to perform these steps again. But if you install Pixel IMS application and already enable VoiceOver LTE or VoiceOver Wi-Fi, it need to be re-enabled only when you update your device. And if you restart your device, this will continue work. So let's uh, just move on, enable wireless debugging, search the web for uh, how to enable developer options. I will show you how you need to just go here in settings, scroll down to about phone and find here the latest option, build number. When you find it, just tap seven times on it. And of course it will ask for pin or pattern. When you enter your pattern you are now a developer. So when you are ready with this step just go back. Go to system and scroll down you will find now the option developer options. Before that we miss it. So when you tap on that just scroll down. And enable USB debugging. Ok give it permissions. And here is the option for wireless debugging. But let's just go to the website. Search the web for uh, how to enable developer options. We already did this. Enable developer options and USB debugging. So it's enabled. Enter wireless debugging. We need to enter that option. Enable wireless debugging. Pairing. Only needs one. Start pairing in Shizuku. And let's just move and I will show you what we need to do. So tap here on wireless debugging, enable it of course. But first remember we need to be connected to Wi-Fi network because I just disabled my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi. Of course you need to be connected to your Wi-Fi network. I am now connected. You can see it now. Let's just enable it and allow wireless debugging. On this network of course we need to allow it so when you are ready you need to enter here pair device with pairing code here my advice is to do the following just do like this open recents 
tap here on settings and enable split screen when you enable just go and select the application shizuku now it is in split screen go back and you can see here shizuku is not running now just select pair device with pairing code tap on it pair with device and you can see let's tap here on pairing you need to give uh, notification permissions for shizuku all right notifications are enabled now and you can see pairing service found enter pairing code and enter the code you receive here and just tap enter pairing successful you can start shizuku service now so when this is uh, ready just uh, remove the split screen let's just go back and select again pair if it's still not working go in developer options open wireless debugging disable it and re-enable it so tap again on pair device with pairing code and now enter again that pairing code remember this is a bug sometimes happens so don't be scary and just enter it pairing successful now let's go back to shizuku it's still not running but let's tap on start and now shizuku is running that's it now guys we need to go to the following website when shizuku is running remember if there is a bug and it's still not running just disable wireless debugging and re-enable it again so guys this is the link it is a github page kuijin cho this is the guy that we need to thank thank you mate for creating that so keep in mind that enable volta on pixel 6 and 7 of course this will work also on pixel 8 series and and 6 and 7 so this will work for every google tensor device now let's scroll down and check uh, what's written of course we have here introduction support carriers you can check the supported carriers but keep in mind that the list is not updated so install shizuku we already do this open installed application of course you can use uh, shizuku by your computer but i think uh, wireless it will be way easier with wireless debugging start shizuku and so on using a pc install patch application here came the work with the website click the following link all right let's click it and now it start downloading the file so let's install the downloaded application of course we need to give a permissions to chrome to install applications i will just give it and select install pixel ims this is the application that we need allow pixel ims to access uh, shizuku allow all the time and that's it we are ready almost here we need to go here open the dialer and dialing the following code star and now from here we need to enable phone information and now here on that menu tap on the three dots and select ims service status so when you see that ims registration not registered voiceover lt unavailable voiceover wi-fi unavailable video calling unavailable and ut interface unavailable so we need voiceover lt and voice and voiceover wi-fi but now it's not registered so let's go back to the pixel ims application here it is tap here and now let's start enabling the options enable vo lte now it's enabled enable voice over wi-fi you can enable voice over wi-fi while you are roaming that's almost everything you can enable you also you can show 4g lte data icon instead of uh, lte but this is not important i will not go for that we are ready guys here let's just disable the wi-fi tap done 
and now let's check what we have here in in that IMS service status now what we have IMS registration registered voiceover LTE available voiceover Wi-Fi unavailable but if I enable it in options let's go back network and internet seems now I have the option for for Wi-Fi calling let's just enable the Wi-Fi again because before that the option was missing now it's here now use Wi-Fi calling is enabled and let's check again the IMS status and you can see voiceover Wi-Fi is available now all these uh, options uh, was enabled on my device without even restart it but keep in mind it's always better to restart your device and guys keep in mind something some operators in different part of the world maybe will not work with that uh, pixel ims for me in bulgaria this is a vivacom operator it is perfectly working but some of them may not work so just keep in mind that of course you can update the list in in github again let's go myself i am hd and have the wi-fi icon here because i'm using now the wi-fi calling and it's even written wi-fi call so let's hang up the call and even it showed here you can see i have now hd icon and wi-fi icon so this was the wi-fi call now let's disable wi-fi all right it's disabled and i will call myself again now the call is answered and you can see i have here hd icon and i'm still using lte until i am in the call and that means voice over 4g is working or voice over lte my connection is not dropping to 3g until i am in the middle of the call i'm still using 4g connection and that was the purpose of today's video thanks for watching guys if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos have a nice day